This is a journey through the alluring expanse of the Arabian Sea to a land nearly 300 kilometers away from Kerala with diverse lifestyle and culture from that of the Keralites. The expanse of the water lies calm beneath the protective covering of the azure sky. Exquisite landscapes between the two blue stretches steal our hearts and enrich our humble experiences. The Milky Way through which the ships traverse looks as if it is paved with pure cotton. A fleet of ships journeys up and down this Milky Way for fishing and for transporting goods. This journey finds its destination in an archipelago of 36 islands called Lakshadweep. It is one of India's tiniest regions under the control of the Indian central government. Only 10 islands are inhabited here. Altogether, there are only less than 65,000 inhabitants. A few of the inhabited islands are Kavarathi, Kadamath and Kiltan. Legend has it that human habitation started in Lakshadweep nearly 1,400 years ago during the reign of Cheraman Perumal. The religions that were practiced during those days were Buddhism and Hinduism. An Islamic prophet named Ubaidullah rewrote the history of the island by converting the inhabitants to Islam. In 1956, Lakshadi became part of the Indian Union. It was once ruled by Tipu Sultan and Arakal Bibi. The British East India Company took control of the island in 1799. The journey from Cochin to Antroth, which is 293 kilometers away, is peaceful and refreshing. The main means of transport from Kerala to Lakshadweep are ship, vessel or airplane. Vessel, which is a modern version of a raft, is faster than ships and it takes just 10 hours to reach Lakshadweep from Beppu, Calicut. In the wheelhouse of the vessel, there will be two people at a time to control it. It is similar to the cockpit of an aircraft. This is an unmanned UMS vessel. One watches over the navigation and the other monitors its engineering. Everything in the engine room is displayed in the CCTV monitor. The monitoring system helps to know all the parameters of the engine, its temperature, pressure, etc. What is the difference between mile and nautical mile? In the sea, we don't measure in kilometers. We use nautical miles. One nautical mile is equal to 1.8 kilometers. Androth is only 7.5 kilometers long and 2.5 kilometers wide. The people of Androth visit Kerala frequently for the purpose of education, medication and purchase of day-to-day -day things. We are led to the beautiful sights of Lakshadweep through narrow pathways. In most of the islands, government-owned bungalows house visitors. The seashore is saturated with multicolored termite mounds. It's time for the dawn to ebb away. People capture the wealth of the sea using their nets and fishing rods. They dive deep to pick up the seashells that preserve pearls. This same seashore displays a different sight in the evenings. High tide hides the sights of the morning shows. Everything that the islanders are in need of 
must come from Kerala. The goods are transferred through huge rafts. We depend on the land for everything. We have great difficulties during three months when we face heavy rains and storms. Other months, goods reach here from places like Calicut and Mangalore. During the rainy season, they depend solely on Cochin. Cost is almost double when the goods reach here through land. Stones that cost only rupees eight are sold at rupees thirty in the island. Same is the case with cement, sand, timber, etc. Loading and unloading charges, ferry charge, etc., are the reasons for the multiplication of the cost. Same is the case with construction also. A house which costs rupees three hundred thousand in Kerala will cost rupees seven hundred thousand in Lakshadweep. There was a time when the islanders solely depended on coconut trees. All parts of the tree were used extensively. They made ropes out of the coconut husk to make a living. Sadly, now there is a dearth of men even to climb the coconut tree. One common sight in almost all of the islands here is fallen down and unwanted coconuts huddled together. Total dependence on coconut tree is a story of the past now. The main occupation of the industrious islanders are fishing and the preparation of mas. Since there are no huge motor boats for fishing here, they don't get either very big fish or very small ones. Tuna is a main fish they are able to procure in abundance. Usually, in one fishing boat, there will be eight fishermen, and they go 20 to 25 miles deep into the sea, carrying small sardines. The sardines are thrown into the sea to allure the tunas towards the boat. Once they huddle together near the boat, they are caught using fishing rods. As soon as they reach the shore, they start the process of making mas. By cutting the fish and boiling them in sea water, the boiled fish will be spread over burning charcoal and grilled. The next day, next day morning, they dry them and spread them in the hot sun. After two days, they remove the thorns and dry them again under the hot sun. Mas is exported to places like Cochin, Calicut, and Mangalore, as it is a very lucrative business. Each kilogram of mas costs up to thousand rupees. Distinct from the other islands. There's a beautiful agricultural land in the midst of this island. Now we are standing in the main field of Antroth Agricultural Department. Snake god, brinjal, ash melon, pumpkin, etc., are grown here in plenty. The crops here are free from fertilizers and pesticides. They are purely organic in nature. The islanders once feared. that they would lose this beautiful agricultural land and water storage area when a foundation stone was laid here to construct an airport we are not against the prospect of having an airport in our land but we don't want it in this agricultural land this is the heart of antroth we have no objection in having the airport in any lagoon area our primary concern is about relocating the people to another safe area even though the place is surrounded by sea water the well water is surprisingly very pure unaffected by the saltiness rain water is collected here this house is constructed after great hardship 
we cannot make another one like this if it is destroyed another flourishing industry here is making vinegar and jaggery from coconut juice here they call the coconut juice neera or meera we use this juice mainly to make jaggery we don't use any artificial chemicals to make them we use one peculiar stone to remove the sourness when it is boiled jaggery is made in the form of jam this is a stone we use to remove the sourness the stone which is collected from the sea is put into boiling juice and when it is properly cooled we remove it Jassari is a common language in all the islands except Minikoi. This language which is similar to Malayalam is exclusively used by these islanders. It doesn't have a proper written script. It has close affinity towards a language used by Calicut Muslims. But in Minikoi they have an independent language called mehal lighthouses are placed in all the islands to guide the sailors to safety in antrot radars are placed on top of the lighthouse which is almost 40 meters high In order to ensure the safety of the islanders mighty police force with all modern equipments is posted in all islands For skilled labors like house and boat construction, welding, etc., experts are hired from Kerala. Let us give a listening ear to Mr. Surendran, who is a sculptor. Life here is peaceful. Alcohol has been prohibited here since 1976. The total distance of an island is just about seven to eight kilometers. Petrol. is very expensive here. there is no bus service but there are auto rickshaws motorbikes and bicycles it is extremely difficult during the rainy season as the price has become almost double for all commodities this is nabil from antrot he loves to live in his island though he studies in malappuram kerala i'm studying in kerala for my 10th grade now my home is here I went to Kerala for my education as the standard of education in Kerala is much higher than that of my place but I love my island much more than Kerala there are no fights or quarrels here it is a very peaceful place we are like a family the islanders receive news from across the world mainly through television as there are no newspapers here there is one newspaper in Kavarathi 
but it has only local news family relationships are built in deep mutual trust this is a community of people who do not pant after money a land where there are no drunkards people who are deeply rooted in islamic religious values here everyone knows each other the islanders are very hospitable they are experts in making delicious curries and sweets the islanders of lakshadweep are matriarchal unlike the keralites women hold a high status in the society and the properties also belong to them Everyone in the family lives under the guidance of the familial elders. They control all the affairs of the family. Here, dowry is paid by man to woman. The husbands who join the wife's family live in perfect harmony with the members of that family. Joint family system is practiced here and usually there are no quarrels in the family. the shows are filled with the games of children and the fellowship gatherings of the adults schools children hotels boat construction workers battery operated vehicles etc are the many sights commonly seen in antroth when we enter kavarathi which is the seat of the administration of the island the atmosphere shifts from that of a village to that of a small town plenty of tourists from different parts of india visit here foreign tourists are denied permission to enter kavarathi ujra mosque and the incredible underwater sights are the main attractions here age old ujra mosque with its gorgeous sculptures is an inviting spot of pilgrimage in kavarathi The desalination plant established in Kavarathi to purify water is the first of its kind in India. The water which is extracted from the depth of the sea evaporates when light heat and low pressure are applied. When this water is cooled off it becomes pure devoid of its saltiness. Surfing, canoeing, scuba diving glass boat safari etc are some of the adventurous activities in the land that attract tourists schools study centers century old rail tracks built for entertainment massive ships stuck in the shore indira gandhi hospital table adjacent to the soldiers camp aquarium museum etc add value to the island's beauty big ships are anchored in the distant sea as it is impossible for them to find anchorage near the island people travel in small boats to the ship and it's really adventurous to enter and exit the ship when the sea is rough
The Arabian Sea is a mammoth-sized ship which has more than 700 beds, different types of cuisines, prayer rooms, etc. It is now a 24-hour journey from here to Cochin, amidst peaceful at mighty sea, flying fish, dancing dolphins, and ships of different nations that ply up and down for commercial purposes. Even when these islands have a unique and different culture from that of Kerala, they hold a very deep and lasting relationship with Kerala. As we sail back from Lakshadweep to Kerala, with our hearts overflowing with joy, we carry along with us unfading memories of the place and its people that will continue to be our prized possession for years to come.